in uh, 1978. Yeah, my older sister died as I got it. Um, I had had one treatment when I went to see her the last time. And uh, she said uh, to the nurse after I left, she said, there's something wrong with Mary. And, uh, and, and she said, I, I, I just don't know. She said, do you know what's wrong with her? And uh, of course, I wasn't letting her know for a minute that I was suffering the same thing. And uh, I got that in August, and she died in November. But she suffered 18 months. And oh, just terrible, terrible. And then my mother had it too. And then uh, uh, my younger sister escaped, but she was killed here at Carl Gables at a car wreck, a young guy going too fast in the residential area. And it, that was bad. Yeah, the cancer's all through my family and my husband's family too. They just all drifted off. And then the, just before I came here, I lost my three best girlfriends uh, two months apart. Barbara f was first and then Betty Mitchell and then Margie Neal. All three went in six months. So then I had nothing left but you all there. And uh, of course that was a whole lot, but it, it was like old time that I was raised with is what I meant to say. And so th that decision was made pretty fast. Steve had been trying to get me here for, some, for a whole year. And I wasn't budging as long as Barbara and Betty and them were living. And uh, so uh, I came down and my brother-in-law was here at the time and he was suffering Alzheimer's, but he knew me and he was my neighbor here in this building. And uh, so uh, I got to be with him a little over a year till he passed away. And now I've got 10 nice friends here and uh, I don't pair off with any of them. I'm just free. A lot of them do get best friends and stick and, and they meet for breakfast and meet for lunch and meet for dinner and sit outside together. And that kind of cuts you off, I find, you know. It's better if you, if you just are good with all of them. But uh, uh, just losing my family, uh, it's just the greatest loss in the world. It's, uh, to realize uh, how many have gone to the railroad land <laughs> in the sky. <laughs> and, 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 my, and of course, they're all up there having this great time overseeing me right now. <laughs> and I'm wishing at times that I could be there too. And I just, uh, you know, there's uh, not a great deal to stay for, except Stevie, and he needs me. <laughs> uh, he does. Uh, he's just a wonderful, wonderful man, but uh, uh, he is suffering depression, which I had never known. My sisters, they never talked about it. And uh, he's had a couple of spells this, this last, since last January anxiety attacks and uh, uh, he, he's always here for me always uh, just he's a joy not only because he's rich <laughs> and ain't very poor <laughs> but uh, 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 I helped them when they were children uh, uh, they were busy buying cars and paying rent and for, uh, clothing five, four people and and uh, we didn't have children so uh, I helped with the toys at Christmas and some of their little school clothes and stuff like that and Stevie never forgot it he says so I guess he feels like he's paying me back but that's more than done <laughs>